In this video, we'll take a look at uploading and managing your PDF resources in SiteDocs. First, select Setup from the menu bar and then Resource Library. Here you'll see a list of sections where you can store PDF documents that your workers will be able to access and sign in their SiteDocs app. This is a great place to put things like toolbox talks, emergency plans, or your safety manual. So let's start by uploading our safety manual so our workers will have access to it at all times and never have to go looking for a safety binder ever again. First, we'll create a new section for the safety manual. We'll select Add Section at the top of the screen, and you'll notice that a new section is created at the bottom of the list. Next, we can select the text and edit it so that the section is now titled Safety Manual. Then we'll select Add Resources. This will bring up a file explorer window where we can select the documents from our computer and add them to the library. You'll notice that the name of one of these files is formatted a little differently than the others. That's totally fine. I can just double click the text and edit the title of the file right here in SiteDocs. Now that the documents are added to the library, we can decide how we want them to look in the application. To do this, select Edit Resource Menu above the preview window on the right hand side of the page. On this screen, we can add resources to our workers app either in a list or inside a specific folder. In this case, because the resources we just added are all in the same section of our library, we can select the whole section at once and even choose to add a new folder based on the library section. Now we can see our new safety manual folder and even check the live preview on the right to see what our workers will experience in their app. When we're done editing, we can select Save to save the changes. We have a few tips at the end of the video here to help with optimizing your documents for upload into SiteDocs. First, we recommend keeping your resources on the shorter side, around 50 pages or so. For longer documents, like the safety manual we just uploaded, we recommend breaking the document into sections or chapters. This helps with a couple of things. It makes it easier for your workers to find the section they're looking for quickly, and it means that when a worker signs off on a resource, you know exactly which section they read and are acknowledging. The second tip is about file size. There's a 30 megabyte size limit on PDF files in SiteDocs, so if your document exceeds that, you can either compress the file to make it smaller, or of course, you can divide the document into sections. Now you can see that SiteDocs uses the resource section to make accessing your important documents easier, faster, and better. If you have any questions about your resource library or anything else in your SiteDocs application, please reach out to our amazing support team at support at sitedocs.com.